And welcome back to Whiskey Buds. I'm Kurt. I'm Billy. And we're going to see how he enjoys his first barrel proof whiskey. Uh, after I posted a uh, picture of it on Instagram, he said, Ooh, that looks good. After I said, It's one of my favorites. So I said, Fine, it'll be one of the next few you will uh, drink. So this will be his first barrel proof whiskey. Uh, this is the Old Forester 1920. Uh, it's 115 proof. Now, I actually have a little bit of information on this for you, Billy. This uh, Old Forester was one of six distilleries to be given a special permit to um, continue making whiskey during Prohibition for Make medicinal money. purposes. Yeah, medicinal purposes. Oh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> so you're stressed out? Well, I mean... <laughs> So this uh, Old Forester went back and did uh, what they call a Whiskey Row series, which is a se four different bourbons uh, kind of showcasing, it sounds like showcasing throughout the time that they were making whiskeys. This one happens to be what you would get, well, as close as they can make now, to what you would get when you bought a whiskey in the Prohibition Age, right? Okay. So like so, in 1920. So I'm thinking rough. Maybe, you know, because as time goes on, they things yeah. become more refined and they figure out things. So yeah, and they make corn whiskey <laughs> <laughs> with millet. <laughs> so that's my my first. Yeah, that's my expectation thought. since you told me that story. So. All right, so we will see if this uh, is you know how you like it. Um, Old Forester also made you. You saw that movie uh, Kingsman. Yeah. Is that where he goes around killing a bunch of people? Yeah. Okay. And uh, <laughs> Samuel Jackson with a hair lip or a lisp. Uh, oh, maybe. Where it's he has an evil while. plot to uh, give everyone free SIM cards that will hijack their mind and make them incredibly, um, like, angry and violent. And then, like, the whole world would then kill itself so that the world could heal. Oh, it's about like this year. We don't have a Valentine. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, but anyways, uh, in the second movie, they uh, get infiltrated and they have to go to an American cousin uh, organization, like spy organization, who happens to be called the Statesman. And it happens to be a Kentucky whiskey distillery oh. that they uh, go visit. And that's their training grounds, their secret headquarters, where in Kingsman, it's a, uh, <laughs> yeah, in Kingsman, it's a... a tailored you know suit shop you know suit tailor shop yeah. or whatever and in america it's the kentucky bourbon <laughs> or whiskey and so old forester did actually release a uh, statesman bourbon i haven't quite picked it up yet but in you know as as reference to what they drink in the movie huh. i don't know if it's the same stuff i don't think it is but so this is a lot so darker than uh than last week's? Yeah, our gold spur we had last week. Yeah. Yeah, this is... Now, I enjoyed the gold spur for exactly what you said last week, which was it's light. It's easy. It's sipper. And it's it's a little different uh, with the millet and the oats. Like, you get a slightly different flavor. Plus, the corn is ramped up on it being a corn whiskey. And uh, so you get this light, light, subtle sweetness, and that's it. Like, so it's, mm. it's just something simple to to drink just to enjoy i think i'm like this the dark ones better this is going to be a lot more challenging as far as there's going to be a lot more flavors to it because it's rough <laughs> <laughs> you you might find it rough i tell you what give it a sniff and tell me hmm. what do you think you know i should have poured this and told you all the story while you were sipping yeah, live and learn yeah she so this doesn't smell like alcohol like <clears throat> gold spur did doesn't have the same burn huh See to me, I get I get an ethanol burn in this one where I didn't in the gold spur, but it's not like it's not. There's not much there, for that burn. Mm -hmm. uh, you might get uh, cherry or dark fruits, on the nose when you're smelling. I Maybe even a little caramel. Smell like more oak. Can you? All right. I don't know what I'm getting in there. Yeah, it's maybe like, a little fruit. 
smell. All right, hard to say. Give it a sip. What do you think? <laughs> it burns more. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's 115 proof. Is that the mm -hmm. highest one we've had so far? Mm -hmm. Yep. And so, back in Prohibition, they had to uh, barrel er or bottle everything at 100 proof for the medicinal purposes. I feel better already. Yeah. And uh, so it's believed that when you put it in the barrel at around 100 proof during the angel share and during the aging, that you will end up you know it'll end up coming out at about 115 proof. So that's what they bottled it and got it to. What do you think? Well, it definitely burns, but it's not like a, it's almost like a good burn. <laughs> that's, there we go. See, that's, it's like spicy foods, right? There is a little, a uh, little bit of spice in there, kind of. Is there? Like, uh, what about some berry notes? Yeah, there's like a hint of sweetness. That... Caramel, maybe? Mm. There's definitely, I, I think there's a pretty decent thing on caramel. That's one of the few flavors. <laughs> <laughs> I inhaled some alcohol vapor. Oh, yeah. All right, well, what do you think? My whole mouth is burning. It's like kind of tingly numb. So that there must be a lot of alcohol in there. Yeah, medicinal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I know that's what it's it, like. Though. You you know so uh, maybe we should uh, talk about this. I I had some suggestions on the fact that we have like some bigger um, episodes that are going to come up that we're going to need to think about, like episode like fifty or a hundred, right? Well, you're on your journey to a hundred whiskeys. We're only. Freaking 13 whiskeys in. I feel like I've tried them all. Shoot, you, you, are you kidding? You? <laughs> it's more than I've seen in my entire life. <laughs> you saw what's what's waiting for you to try. You, you, you can't stop until you try all of them. How good is that? Think about this. I call him up and I say, all right, dude, let's do some film. And he says, okay, wait until I figure out what day we can. So then he comes over and I'm like, all right, dude, let's drink some whiskey. And all he's got to do is show up. And I pour him whiskey. Like, who else? And I'm like, meh. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just can't please some people, can you? <laughs> Do this, you know how this... many people would be happy to take your spot? Yeah, but they'd drink all your alcohol. Yeah, actually they would. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of hedging my bet here. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this is enough of that. You can take it back. Yeah, that's yeah. enough. Here you go. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm getting some kind of aftertaste. Okay. It's not quite smoky, I don't think, but mm -hmm. it's like something weird. Something I don't think I've tasted yet. All right. Do you notice that this finish lasts much longer than last week's? Well, I think the burn whiskey? is kind of mellowing out, and I'm tasting some of the flavors oh, in it yeah, that are still go. lingering around in there. Now that your mouth is numbed, <laughs> <laughs> you can start tasting some of the flavors. It's actually pretty good. There you go. See, it's got good flavor. That's where we're at. All right. Now he knows why it's one of my favorites. For being a strong proof, it does not drink like real heavy. I mean, you get a little burn, but I mean, at 115 proof. Yeah, it's not like can't syrupy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it. I do. It's kind of good. Like I say, it's got that burn, but it's not like a bad burn. Like some of them burn. It's just like uncomfortable all the way around. Yeah. This is a burn, and it's like it's making me feel more you, alive. Or something. You, you know, I, w I thought I was onto something when I would start finding different bourbons that he enjoyed and thought we'd go to the Four Roses, and he didn't like it. And for the record, this thing is like 7.5% more than that Four Roses you didn't like that you thought was too Yeah, that wasn't too strong. I didn't really like that at all. No. <laughs> You're like, oh, geez. So what, what is, what's on the bill on this one? Like, what is in this? Uh, what is it? Our usual three, which is corn, um, rye, and malted barley. 
And what ratios, I don't know. I didn't actually memorize those or look them up. But I know there else. are big three. They don't tell you. It's just like a mystery what all is in there, huh? Uh, on the bottle it is, but if you uh, go to the website or do some searching online, you can find it. Most of them will. They'll give it to you, you know, for the most part, like what their uh, ratios are. All right. We found... So how much is this? Uh, MSRP is $60. Whoa. I found um, it for 48 bucks. I don't know if I like <laughs> it anymore. It's a little pricey to so, be drinking. Yeah. Yeah. That's, you don't, it doesn't take much. No, it's pretty good. Yeah. So what was my, uh, what, what was the one that this is going up against? Dude, after our freaking blind tastings, I have no clue. It's all up in the air. Like I know, I, I know the Buffalo Trace was... Yeah. The, the bad, Buffalo right? Trace was was probably your next bet because you had the Dalmore, which again was another sixty dollar bottle, and you're like, "Holy crap!" But then we tried so it in I blind tasting. The Dalmore, I remember that one. The Dalmore was was like good, and but it had that sweet like yes. wine kind of yep hint to it, which was kind of good, but like kind of off putting at the same time. That's why I almost brought down an Angel's Envy, which is a bourbon like this, okay. but it, it's finished in port casks. Which is not the sherry casks, but it's like a, a oh, so fortified. It's, so it's another kind of wine, but not as sweet. It is, it, yeah, port. Port is a fortified wine, if I remember right. And you can correct me in the comments or whatever. But I believe uh, port was, like, it, it's raised up to like a 20% to keep it from uh, going bad during shipping back in the day. And then people liked it, so they kept making it. It was, it was actually just a... Uh, to distill it and make it a higher proof so the alcohol would kill anything so that it could be shipped to wherever they're shipping it. And uh, like France to England or something like that. And then, but the English liked it, so they kept making it. So, <clears throat> but it's another sweet wine, basically. So, totally off topic here. Yeah. This is, so the prohibition happened mm -hmm. and they're like, Alcohol's bad. We need to get rid of this. Yep. Cause whatever. Yeah. Except for this stuff, because it's good. Except for six <laughs> distilleries that they're like, there is going to be a need for some people to uh, to have to drink something. I'm just trying to figure this one out. It's there's like some something in there no, that makes good. it different than than the rest of them. Than the other ones that are similar to this. Yeah. Well, I mean, all the bourbons are going to be very similar because they're all going to contain. A very similar mash bill, which is your corn, your uh, rye, and your malted barley. Now, going back to Maker's Mark that uses the winter wheat, red winter wheat, something like that, um, instead of rye. So it helps kind of smooth it out. But uh, other than that, and that's still a bourbon, but oh man, jeez. <laughs> you about, that's good stuff. I, dude, I told you it was good stuff. Okay, so. Do you, what do you have that's like has a smoky a smoke? A smoke? Something. <laughs> what, what's that uh, look for? Well, we're, we're, we'd have to look at the brimstone because that's the only one that I have that's... Brimstone? Yeah, that's oak, not um, peat smoke. Because I have a lot of peated whiskeys, or I should say peated scotches, but the only one that I have that's like smoked oh i do actually have a smoked rye upstairs oh that's a good one too i don't know i'm trying to figure out if this has a little smoke flavor in it or something really because i just don't know what that i don't know what all right let's see here i happen <laughs> to have oh we're gonna are we gonna break out another one right now no well you're gonna have to wait till next episode to see what <laughs> he thinks of it but we're gonna let him sniff and smell what is this? This is Balconis Brimstone. It is uh, smoked with Texas scrub oak. And at 53%, uh, it's not quite as potent as our 1920, but it, it, it doesn't lack for any flavor, I'll tell you that. Okay. All right. Oh, I... That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to do here? Nothing. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> what's in this? Uh-huh. That's what I said. There's your... A little bit of motor your... oil. Uh-huh. 
There you go. Now oh, he's... wow. You, we need to... All right. We need to go to the next episode. Guess what? You know, it'll. you got to wait a week. we got to wait five minutes. Yeah, so <laughs> do that bell thing and the, on YouTube. You subscribe, and there's the little the bell, and you click the bell, and then it says... And when he puts up a new video, it's like, hey, there's a new one. Yeah. And everybody's like, yay! Do they? I don't. I don't think anybody That's gets excited my, that that much. I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that one. Is 1920 crazy. is is good. I recommend it. Yeah. You're probably your favorite so far. Sure. Sure. You're not sure. Well, I don't remember. I think the. I think Buffalo Trace was good, but this is probably better. Like this is, I can't think of anything that's better than this right now. See, it was a little rough a, to get going, but yeah. As soon as your mouth gets accustomed to that high proof, it's got a good flavor. It, it's, dude. Yeah, this is this is one of my. I, we I bought it after hearing and seeing it online so much. I'm like, we just have to find it. And Isabella happened to be out of town, and uh, she went to a one of the liquor stores in Casper. Is it hard to find? No, not really, actually. Oh. Like figures, I like one that's hard to find. Yeah. Oh no, we we got plenty of those. <laughs> we yeah, we got to get to those later though. <laughs> All right, we better end this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is, this is this. Yeah. All right. Cheers, everybody. Uh, join us next week when we find out if Charlie likes that brimstone. See ya. <laughs>